Hi guys, in this video we'll be discussing the immune system and memory, immunization and the pros and cons of vaccinations. Finally, a summary. Our immune system is actually quite clever. It stores the information about pathogens that infect our body, so if the pathogen attacks again, it can react much quicker. So now let's look at what happens when the pathogen invades for the first time. So when the invading pathogen is detected, the body produces more of the B lymphocyte that makes the appropriate antibody. So you can see here that the pathogen is detected and the B lymphocyte produces antibodies. These are specific to this pathogen. After this, the body increases the number of this B lymphocyte as it produces the right antibody. However, this can take quite some time. Producing more B lymphocytes that produce the right antibody to overcome the infection takes days and during this time the person can develop symptoms. The body's response for when a pathogen first infects a body is called the primary response. So at the first exposure to the antigen, there aren't many B lymphocytes producing the right antibodies. However, after some time, in this case 20 days, there's enough antibodies produced to clear the infection. However, during this time, the person may have already developed symptoms and become ill. For instance, they may have a fever or come out in a rash. Luckily, the body has a way of dealing with infection more quickly if it's invaded by the same pathogen again. This is because during the first infection, the body produces a special type of white blood cell. These are called memory lymphocytes and these remain in the body. So these memory lymphocytes are stored. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE Biology and Combined Science videos, just click the Snap Revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make Biology at GCSE a walk in the park.